Another way to solve linear equations on the SAT more quickly is by using their structure. Let me show you what I mean by that. Take for example this question. It says if 2x plus 8 is equal to 16, what is the value of x plus 4? How would you approach this problem? Well, I know you're probably thinking, okay, if 2x plus 8 is equal to 16, then I can solve for x and add it to 4, because that means 2x is going to be equal to 8, so x is going to be 8 over 2, which is 4. So x plus 4 is basically 4 plus 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. And that's true, you could do that. You'd be definitely 100% correct. But what if we were to think about it this way instead? If 2x plus 8 is equal to 16, we can compare it to x plus 4. Notice that 2x plus 8 is just basically 2 times x plus 4 because 2 times x would be 2x, 2 times 4 would be 8. So that means if I divide 2x plus 8 by 2, then that would give me x plus 4. And because of what I know about equations, if I divide this side by 2, I divide that side by 2. So x plus 4 must be equal to 8. Now, both of them are the same thing. We solve both of the equations by using the ideas in algebra. But this one took a little bit less time because we thought about what it really meant. We thought about the structure. Look at the second one over here. If 3 times c plus d equals 5, what is the value of c plus d? How do you think we could approach this question with structure? Well, think about it, right? We only want C plus D. So really, it doesn't matter if we solve for C or it doesn't matter if we solve for D. All we need to figure out is what C plus D is or what it's equal to. So if 3 times C plus D is equal to 5, to get C plus D by itself, I could divide this side by 3 and that would cancel 3's. But that means I'd also have to divide the other side by 3. So that means C plus D would be equal to 5 over 3. And our answer here would be B. So thinking like this helps us to save time while working problems on the SATs.